I just don't like spending money, which I don't like spending no motherfucking money. That's the fucking problem. That's the motherfucking problem. Let me talk about something, y'all. Okay, so when I was talking about, when I was talking about, y'all was asking me, like, why did I put him on or something like that? I didn't put him on, bitch. I just posted it, bitch. I wasn't thinking, I didn't, you know, you don't be knowing. Like, I don't be knowing. I said it. I used to do it. I know now. That anytime I talk about somebody or somebody, like, I introduce somebody, y'all motherfuckers go follow that person and go see what's up. So, bitch, I, like, I make the moves. I really make the moves. And so that's what I learned. Like, I can't address everybody. I can't address everything. Because, Bitch, that puts them on and makes them somebody. And so I can't do that. But as far as what she is, I mean, she was an experiment. Bitch, I was trying something different that I never tried before, bitch. A younger girl, no shade, no bug. I was like, let me try this and see how this works out. But I forgot the younger girl, you got to teach them how to bath and take care of themselves. And it was just like, bitch, I wasn't in a training, no dog. Bitch, this bitch walking around with shit stains in her drawers. How the fuck can I motherfucking... And, and so I mean, I woke up quick. I woke up quick. I mean, I tried something for a month or two. And then it just, girl was on to the next thing. Girl, I forgot about her girl was on all this. She was feeling herself, not me. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, it was like training a dog. Bitch, you got to motherfucking teach this bitch how to wipe her ass. You got to motherfucking put the bitch out. Teach her how to bath, girl. I ain't got time for all that, girl. Ooh, a girl I got no time for that. Ooh, just, just give me, ugh, girl, I got time for all that, bitch. And so at the end of the day, bitch was like training a fucking dog. Bitch, I ain't got some bitch. I, and so I stopped. So I'm my bad. Fuck. <laughs> like, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to infiltrate your viewership with something that wasn't just, that was just whatever it was. Bitch. I mean, bitch, hold up. Listen, the only, listen, we all, girl, we all, listen, we all, I got Zoom. Bitch, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I got Zoom, bitch. I got Zoom, bitch. Ain't no shit. Fuck. Everybody gets Zoom, bitch. Everybody on this live got Zoom before, bitch. We got tricked. trick. We was trying something, trying some shit, see if it'll work, and then, bitch, it didn't work. Bitch, it's no shame, bitch. It wasn't what it was, girl. It wasn't giving, girl. It just wasn't, bitch. So, fuck. I, and so, it's like, I mean, I guess people look at me, how is you a woman that you like all these women, bitch? I don't like blacks to me, personally. And this is being real. I don't, that toxic, I don't like toxic masculinity. That shit, I don't like that. I follow none of them, okay? Smart woman. <laughs> that's a smart woman. I don't, that toxic masculinity shit is very motherfucking, that's fucking deadly. That's dead. Like, I ain't gonna, so the, I was depressed. Hello? 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 How are you? How are you? You sound like a child. Good day. How are you? Bye. I'm All right, so anyway. <laughs> so I don't like that toxic man. So listen, so I, anybody I mess with is the woman, bitch. It's gonna be a fucking butch queen, bitch. At least, bitch. I don't that toxic masculinity shit, girl. I can't do that. I done messed with a trade before, right? I've messed with them. It's hard. I hate that deal shit. Okay, explain it. I get. I will. I will explain. It. In the gay lifestyle. People, it's the thing they call tops, bottoms, versatile, versatile tops, versatile bottoms. And on the spectrum, it, it's certain degrees of femininity, right? And so there's really like the like a, the more masculine of the femininity part is what we would call a trade, right? They present themselves more masculine, trade or whatever, whatever. Then there's like a, there's on a, on a then I guess a step down, will probably be somebody who's a butch queen. They still dress and stuff like a boy, but they still have that degree of femininity. They dress like a boy, but they still have, they, they, it's not, you know, they got, they got a sister side. Then it's like something like a femme queen. A femme queen is like a butch queen. They still dress like a boy, but they might wear nails, makeup. A butch queen, ain't, a butch queen too much ain't really doing it. But a femme queen, she gonna put on makeup on, uh, you know, put a little lipstick on, but she still wears like a fade. A uh, femme queen would be something like a saucy Santana, still got the beard, but still whatever, whatever. Um, a butch queen would be more like, um, I would consider a little Nas X like a butch queen. Like we already know he's a sissy, but he don't really, sometimes he get a little out there, but he more, uh, he could go femme queenish, but he more like a butch queen in my mind. Now that doesn't mean just because I'm like classifying you, that means it's in that box. 
because a bush queen could be a femme queen at any day. A femme queen could butch it up any day. And any day, them all could pretend like they Troy. Uh, then there's like the queens, the sissies, that's just real sissies. They might do hair, they might do hair makeup, but they still might have certain degrees of masculinity. And then there's like drag queens and trans and all that stuff like that. They are, they, they either a lot go into like living like that or, or, li or actually live as the opposite sex. You got that? What's a fish? A fish is basically a <laughs> fish is basically what what the gay community would call a real woman. But a lot of girls think it's a bad thing. I try not to use that too much because some girls don't like it, don't call it offensive. But it's really not because it's more like a term of endearment. When we say, like, if I see one of my, if I see, like, a push queen walk or a film queen walking and she put it off, I'll be like, all right, fish. So I'm telling her she's, like, really doing it good. Like, she's really giving you a feminine look. So fish, to me, is a good thing. I, like, when I'm calling somebody fish, I'm like, all right, tuna, all right, fish. You know what I'm saying? That means, okay, that means you're really pulling off that feminine illusion. So that means you are uh, the epitome of femininity. Even though some girls don't like it, so I don't use it. I don't use cis either. That's cis shit, I don't use it because females don't like that. And I, don't, I think a woman is a woman. Like, that. no shade to the people that cis and all this other dumb ass shit. And that, I know what it means, and I got the definition. I ain't stupid, but I'm not going to call no no biologically born woman, no cis woman. I ain't finna do it. I ain't finna do it. You're a woman, bitch. You got a pussy, bitch. You're a woman. And I try not to use fish because some people don't like it, but it, 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 to me, it's not no bad thing. Just like, just like, like, like punks call each other punk. That's my punk. That's my, you know, that's my bitch. It's kind of like that. So that's like my fish. That's my girl. That's the I mean. That's I'm saying. That's the that's my girl. But that's what the fish is. But I mean, I don't use it too much. You know, but you don't really hear me saying it. I use it more for the, the LGBT. I use it more for the, the punks or something more than I use it for the females because I know some of them might take offense of it because it's supposed to be meaning that your coochies, that coochies smell like fish. So they're putting it to that. But it's, it's really like a term of endearment. It really is. It's really like saying you're the epitome of femininity. It's like you're ultra feminine. And so, I don't know. I mean, it's just words, people. I don't care what people, people call me all kind of things. Y'all don't give a So, so when it comes down to the come down, for me, when you, some, when somebody trade, sometimes when they're trade, they could be open with that shit. Some niggas just, so you say, do I like a dominant male? Not really. <laughs> I don't. Believe it or not, even though y'all probably view me as an ultra feminine, because I sometimes I put on a wig or something like that, and I just, I don't even, but if you listen to my voice, it's very masculine. And if you hear, like my whole, I'm really like an alpha or a flip. I really am a take charge ass type of person. Like it's really my way or the highway, bitch. And so to be honest with you, even though you y'all may view me as more feminine, I really got a lot of masculine traits. And so I don't like all that dominance because I would have to submit to that. And that shit, I don't like that, to be honest with you. I really like 50-50 type stuff. Also, too, like, okay, um, when it comes to, like, sexual-wise, I'm versatile. But I'm, I'm not, like, I don't understand. Like, I get some people that are bottoms, and I get some people that are tops. But to me, I'm just going to hear y'all just understand what I'm saying. Why I think tops and bottoms is not real. It's just only my opinion. This is not meant to, you a bush queen. I'm more of a bush queen slash femme queen gang. Right now I'm a little bush. But tomorrow I'm going to have on nails and some <laughs> and makeup. So, you know, I'll be a femme queen. So I'm in like, I'm in that spectrum. Now. I'm definitely not a drag queen or a trans woman. <laughs> I do have been dragged. So to understand what I'm saying, when you have different levels, you can really do anything you want to do. People could be what you want. You think I submit for the right person? But every time I try, it ends up horrible. Because I had a DL trade, and that was just the most depressing, toxic situation. We was fighting and stuff like that, and there was a lot of animosity between each other. And it's, I think, too, it's like I had to live my life kind of weird, and I don't like all this stuff like that. Like, but I understand, too, not even with Bush Queens got to live your life weird, because them some treacherous ass punk ass motherfuckers that do the same fucking shit. They just do it out in the open, bitch. But at least with the DL trade, bitch, you ain't got to worry about that, because they're not letting nobody know. But with them fucking Bush Queens, girl, they want everybody to know. They want to be seen so much. Girl, Miss, Mom, Miss Motherfucking Deontay will be seen so fucking bad. It's a shame, girl. You really just want to be seen, girl. Do something for you to be seen. Don't live your life off of me. So there's no such thing as a top and bottom. No, I don't think so. 
and understand why I think this. As a, when I was first came, my coming out story, y'all, I've talked about that before. So if you don't know it, there's a book called Deserve to Be Loved by Rodney Russell. It's still about Amazon and our audio book. And I talk about my relationship. My first, first relationship was kind of coming out and coming of age. But the thing that it was in our relationship that was prevalent is that my first person that I dealt with, he was 100% top. He'd never been fucked. He never wanted to be fucked. That was something that he just wasn't interested in. But I wanted to fuck him because <laughs> he had a big old booty, bitch, and I wanted to fuck him. And he always pounded in my ass, so bitch, I want to fuck him too, bitch. And it was, what? And so that led to a lot of problems in our relationship because I wanted to fuck him. I had never fucked before. I want to, I, I had never, I had never, bitch, I want to lose my little dick, bitch. I want to put it in stuff, bitch. I want to skate, bitch. <laughs> and so that led to problems in our relationship. All right. So I say that to say this. Even in a relationship when I was the bottom, I wanted to experience being a top. And okay, now in, in, in a relationship that I am the top, because I, like, I will do something to the dick. <laughs> so I'm, I'm basing this off of my experience. I know my experience, not everybody's experience, so I'm not saying this speak for everybody, but this is why I think there's no such thing as a top from the bottom. If you are a top, that means you don't get fucked. But you're fucking a man. So if that's the case, if you were really a top and you don't get fucked and there was nothing that was attractive about a penis, then why not just fuck women? Women have asses and women can suck dick. And they're doing it good now. Women are sucking dick like a motherfucker now. If you ain't sucking dick now, you basic. And like, they used to be like that, I get it. But, bitch, all my hoes suck dick, and they do it great, bitch. They be asking me for partners, and then put me on shit they be doing. I'm like, oh, I ain't never gonna try that. No women now. Now, I'm gonna say this for for reference. Ain't a bitch walking suck dick with women. I say what the fuck I say. I'm a big bitch. I be taking the smoke out of this bitch, and I be, bitch, <laughs> I be damn near about to bite the motherfucker off. Okay? But the girls right now sucking dick. So if you a top, that means you only get your dick sucked, you only fucking sucked, right? Okay, good. But if you want to get your dick sucked, you only fucking sucked, why not do it to a woman? There's something about the, the only tip, anatomical difference between a man and a woman is a dick, right? So if the only anatomical difference between a man and a woman is a dick, but you only want, so the only thing you can be attracted to this man for is the anatomical difference. If your dick is getting hard, if you're sticking in his butt, something is attracting to what's on the other side. So you're attracted to men in a way because they got hard for them. So how you could be a top you, if you're attracted to the penis? You're attracted to that difference. That's number one. Now, as far as the bottom concern, your dick don't get hard. Even when I am, even when I was a bottom, I used to go jack off and everything. And I'm jacking off thinking it's butt. So how could you really be a top or a bottom? I think all gay people are versatile. Yeah, too. Now, there might be preferences, and I get that. Some people prefer the top, some people prefer the bottom. That's just what it is. But as, as far as true, just 100% total top or 100% total bottom, I just I don't see how it is. Now, I, now the, the, and sometimes it depends on who you with. At least for me, kind of, sort of, that's kind of like what it is. Because I think I'm fully versatile. I like the ski. And I, I like the little dickhead. <laughs> you know? I like the dick. But I also like the butt, too. I like to suck dick. But I like to get my dick sucked. I like to jack a nigga off. But I like to jack off, too. You feel me? <laughs> so I consider myself fully versatile. But if I'm with somebody, now listen, this is the funny thing. If I'm with somebody who's a total top, I'm trying to fuck them. It's just like I swear on everything that's holy to me. I was with somebody. This is two real stories about me being a top and me being a bottom. Y'all was trying to go on first. Top of the bottom story. Yo, yo. <laughs> I'm talking about this prime motherfucker. You might as well get faggot today. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, which y'all want the top of the bottom first? The first one I see, that's what we go through. The top of the bottom. Where y'all gonna go first? When I was a top or when I was a bottom? Or when I, I have verse stories too because I love, I mean, I, that's the best sex to me. The verse sex is the best sex. I had this one fucking butch queen bitch. Oh my god. It didn't make no sense. All right, top of it. All right, so I'm topping, right? I was in Atlanta. And so I have this, I had this dude, okay, so this dude in Atlanta. And we always just had some kind of mutual little coolness. And we was just, we'll be on the internet just kind of like cool. And I'll be like, oh, you fine, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. 
but he's a short bottom, got a nice little booty, real, real fine, right? And so I always, you know, just be flirting with him, liking his post, just doing that shit like that, just chilling, right? And so one time I was in Atlanta and he was like, let's meet. And so we met, we went out to my house or something, it was no Tino shade, and we chilled. Never did nothing, whatever, whatever. All right, so the next time I went to Atlanta, we finally get around and do it. No, no, I was in Atlanta for, I'm gonna tell you what it was. I was in Atlanta for the, um, we was recording that show, I swear to God. That when the time she got out there, we was recording that show. And so, um, I, I, I have a room in the house, but I don't want to stay in the house because he can't, I can't bring him to the house because of the COVID restrictions they had at the time. And I really wasn't supposed to leave either. But I had tested for the antibodies. So I was able to leave. And so, um, I was supposed to be in the house. Though. And so, um, so I went, so I went, I had got a hotel room that was like not too far from the, from the big, from the main house. Um, and we just went do what we, what we were doing. We was just having our fun. All right. And so, um, I feel like I remember who you were with in ATL. You might've seen him like in past. He not really no type of type. He got he got a job. You know, he, he not really no, no type of like internet hungry as punk. So I respect that about him. But this is what I don't respect about this bitch. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. This bitch dicky too much. This bitch dicky. He make me feel some type of way. If he not holding eleven inches, my name ain't shaking. He if he not holding eleven inches, my name ain't shaking. It got it's that big. It's fat and long with it. And so, bitch, I want to play with it. I want to touch it. I want to do something to it. I want to suck it or something. And, but he's 100% total bottom. So much so that he was riding me, right? And his dick was like way up here, bitch. Slapping my belly, bitch. He riding him. Just, I feel so, so I'm trying to touch it. He'll move my hand on the side. Girl, just move, like, what the fuck? I got, to, I was pissed off too. All this dick going away. A real total bottom. But, I don't know what it was. I can't really explain it. You know what I'm saying? But he just wanted to be about it. So for him, with him, I was a top. But I wanted, I, but even as a so-called top bitch, I wanted to touch the dick or something, bitch. This bitch had a big, a, a baby leg between these motherfucking legs, bitch. And it was nothing. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, y'all, I know I'm not exaggerating for nothing. If this little boy, this boy, this boy was every bit of five, eight, five, seven. Short, fine, and just bless. Big old dude. Don't want to do nothing with Girl, piss me off. A top is the person that penetrates. A bottom is the person that gets penetrated. All right, so this is the bottom story, right? So, when I'm not, okay, so when I'm, so I was a top, so in, okay, but the, my, I could really talk about my last, <laughs> and then the, I'm so petty, bitch. Um, I I text that boy this morning. <laughs> that bitch blocked me after that. He unblocked me, but I blocked me after that. I text him this morning and say happy Pride Month. I swear to God. <laughs> but he undercover. He DL Trey. He's undercover. He, he, he his baby mama kind of problem. Oh, not baby mama. I don't know if that's his baby mama now. But his girl. I said the girl that he was staying with off and on while he was fucking with me figured out who I was by my car. That's a whole long story. That's a whole long story for whole thing. But the toxic part of that relationship is always that, like, so for him, I was more of a body because he was a top. Now, he never let me penetrate him, but he used to get me off. And that was cool for me, but I wanted to fuck. Bitch, he got a nice ass too. But okay, so long story short is I was more of a body for him, but how could you consider yourself a true top if you jacking me up and you sucking my dick? You making me sure I get off. The fuck? Who don't like the nuts? So with him, it was more like, this, and this is why I don't even like the deal of trade stuff. It's like all kind of just, I could be, right? Like his mind so fucked up. Like I could be online, right? And I could be like, okay, this nigga fine or something like that. And he'll be watching or saying something. And then he'll be in the house and nobody knew he was in the house. You might remember him. If y'all was all, if y'all was watching Bigo, y'all remember him. Cause remember he used to help me through the packages and stuff. That he was DL Tree, but he he was like, you know, whatever. So, um, we're gonna say that he's up here. Who said something? Wait, wait, who said something about that? It's the skinny one, it's me. No, not, no, not, no, not him. Not Brianna. Fuck no. Brianna's a butch girl. You're not a DL Tree. What the fuck? 
<laughs> no, this is before him. This is before his time. This is before they. You, you, it was before. It was really before both of the times. He used to be a dude with a live tattoo. Yeah, he used to help me with packages. You gotta just, you gotta just think back. He used to pop on the live sometimes and talk his shit. If y'all remember. Don't expose that man. Fuck him. That bitch. Hold up. Don't expose him. Let me see what this bitch did. This bitch bust my tires on this road I'm on right now. One time I let him use my car. And guess what, bitch? I told him, do not smoke in my car. I don't let my mama bring it to my car. And I had just got my car. And he put a cigarette stain in the he put a cigarette stain in the car. This motherfucker uh, broke my door. He broke my door. He broke my door one time. Me and him was fussing. This motherfucker I broke my nails. Like, what the? I won't, like, I went through war with this bitch. Fuck him. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about exposing him. Fuck him. He's supposed to fuck himself. Because he, this is a problem. He started getting his feelings about me. But he don't want to step up to the plate. This was me and him was the fussy fight. I was in a real depressed mode. And I should have not been depressed. Just bought a house. Just bought a car. Life just was going great. He'll get mad at anybody. I could say somebody cute. Or somebody fine. We got the fight physically. And then mentally, he used to try to make me feel like I, I couldn't get nobody better than him. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm gonna tell you who it was about this bitch. This, this, his sex was demon sex. The bitch fucked so fucking good. That's what it was. So he, anytime he'll do something fucked up, but you gotta let, he got a girl, and I'm supposed to accept that. That didn't make no sense to me. So I felt like I could play with niggas. You got a girl, I can't play with niggas. And he just, he couldn't understand that, but that, oh girl, and then, I don't know if y'all remember this time, because this happened on IG. Remember that time that, oh girl, XYZ came, XYZ came to my house, and he had come got them out the house, but I wanted them going anyway, because he had just moved his stuff in. Oh no, man. Oh, that old sippers, y'all gotta go back in time, girl. Y'all gotta remember that, girl. I'm surprised. I bet y'all had the best makeup since just love. Yeah, he was toxic, girl. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Thought his, thought his shit don't stink, girl. The bitch lied to me so much. Oh, my God. The bitch lying game was a fool. And I thought I knew a bitch. Girl, I thought I could tell when this bitch was lying. And so I started thinking everything he said was a lie. So he started telling the truth. But if we, I look at it as a lie, bitch. And then he'll tell me shit like, I don't want, like, this is who it was, though. And this was, and I'm not going to say I'm not toxic, too, because I be toxic, too, as a, as a motherfucker. I never really exposed him like I could have. Because I think we still go amicable. Like I like I told you, I texted him this morning, told him he had pride, but he blocked me. And then I called him. I, I said, bitch, you better unblock me in two seconds flat. It's gonna be the hell I want. And he did. And so if I call him for something, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay, like we we just don't fuck no more. But at the end of the day, I can't because bitch his, and then this is the trip part about it, girl. Even when we was in daddy's girl, oh my god. Oh my god. I, I like he would be he would be perfect though because our toxicity toxicity matches like we both fucking crazy we both fucking crazy now we never got the fight where it was black eyes and shit like that but we did some slapping and chokeholds and shit like that but baby baby <laughs> it's just that I need him to come I need him to be himself and I think the problem was this is what I think you feel me I honestly think this I think that his his issue was he was falling for me for real for real like he was like he was to just hit i might get him a, a couple nights a week then two to two nights turn to three then three nights turn to four then he started spending a little weeks at the house then he's come start putting stuff there you know what i'm saying that was becoming i think it was becoming too much for him and i think that that was the problem i think that he just started to realize like damn i'm gay and that hurts him because he doesn't want to accept that fact. He want to look at it as like he fuck him up. I used to ask him, how do you identify yourself with him? And he really would believe in his mind he's straight. And in his mind, I believe, this is what I believe, that he felt like he was straight because he never got fucked. What's up? What's up, Demar? How you doing? Is he still with this girl? Um, I don't even ask him about her. I, no, I don't think so because he actually moved to... Um, he actually ended up moving to Dallas with his cousins, but then coming back. So, 
I don't ask about that. I don't care because I'm gonna go to one time he was busting. He was like, "You don't want the truth. You don't want the truth. He said, you want me to lie to you." I'm like, "No, bitch, I want the truth." And so he told me the truth about him and his girl and how why he not leaving her. And bitch, I, t- I put it by my house. Bitch, I didn't want the truth. Bitch, you want to lie to me. So, um, <laughs> and it's a reason I respect it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But it made it's like it put me in a spot that I didn't want to be emotional. And I was just, I don't know if I want to tell y'all what it is, like, or what his reason was. I don't know if it's really my story to tell, but it was something that I really wasn't comfortable with for me because it made me feel like I'm not enough. Because he didn't leave his girl. And so it's like, I look at myself, I always would look at myself as better than her. Like, you know, I need to leave this bitch, this broke bump bitch. Like, I really had animosity toward his girl. When I found out she was in my car, I think that's what just ticked it off. Girl. But I mean, girl. He never brought her to my house or nothing. But bitch, you brought her to my mother. You put her in my car, bitch, and I felt some like He the most attentive of these women and everything, bitch. I ain't had my women to leave. That's why I don't ask for the truth, bitch. You can't handle the truth, bitch. I couldn't handle the truth, bitch. I cried so bad, bitch. Oh, girl. Bitch, when I tell you, I cried for real, bitch. I'm talking about real tears, bitch. That shit broke. That, that truth took me down a notch. Would I ever say that fuck buddies is him? No, girl, because the sex make you fall in love with him. Because I'm telling you about the feelings he had, but the feelings I had was a lot different, bitch. It took a lot to let that go. I'm going to tell you this, though. I ain't going to lie. So that's why I went for him. From him, I went to the complete opposite. That's why y'all even know who the fuck Beyonce even is. Y'all know about this little sissy because he took my mind off of him. Because it was something new. I never tried that before. I never tried no younger man before. We stuck, I mean, you know, I call the boy name, Lord, I'm sorry. Uh huh. The DL train, he, my age, he like 35. I'm 39, I don't know right now. But, you know, this is my first time doing that. And that took me off, that took me, that took my mind, that took my mind off of him. Oh, that took my mind off of him. It's this little young man that I can play with and, and then, you know, fuss with the internet about my, you know, that was just something that just keep me occupied. Because I was, I'm not no cheap ass nigga. I don't be doing all that cheap. Like I'll be talking that shit, girl. But I, the most I might do is flirt. If I'm, with, if I'm with somebody, I will. I mean, I'm just, you know, I done cheated before. I'm not gonna say I haven't. But as far as me, the most I'm gonna do is a little flirt. I say you're fine or something like that. That's why I ain't finna do all that. But I'm gonna do some motherfucking. I'm a, um, I'll really like, I'll real life, I'll real life. So I, this was like he was just really something I could. Never, I was really using him. To motherfucking like for real, I didn't. I, I and I knew I knew that dealing with that it wasn't gonna be nothing for real. But I was like maybe just something fun for the summer, and, and that's all I was looking. But then it just got kind of weird, and he just got kind of fucking clingy, and uh, it was just kind of ah. It was like this ain't my thing. What happened to the dude from Memphis? A lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Uh, I found out he was psycho, and uh, he, um, so I left him, and that hurt him, because he realized that without me, he was nobody, and he decided to take a fist to that, and call himself exposing. That was it. Then I ignored him, and everybody forgot about him in like 10 minutes. So, I don't know what he's doing. Don't, don't, don't care. I have no clue. Uh, the last time I heard of him, I don't even know what the fuck. When was the last time? I, t- I talked to him maybe one time. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Don't know where he at. Don't know. I really don't know if he's living up here. I, mean, I really don't know. I, I don't think about her. I don't think about her. Uh, I don't think about nothing. We just talking today. It's prime moment. We talking about Tyson Bottoms. That's the only reason. And plus, I was in Bay Rouge. I was trying to see him. Miss Mamas was about that like that she be talking about, but she's really not. Uh, but and other than that, we would be talking about them. Understand that, please. Please, y'all, don't, 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 don't make them feel like they're somebody, because they're not. Please don't make them feel like they're somebody. Bottom. What you mean, bottom? And so I was a bottom. That, but that's, that'd be toxic, bro. That bottom shit, that'd be toxic. Now, I could, like, okay, I'll tell you about when I was up, when I saw you all on the top of somebody. And I was told him to the bottom somebody. Now, 
let me tell you about when I was in my first relationship. Now, this is when I first came home. Okay? Now. <laughs> Oh, girl, my girl's in New Orleans, but know who this is, so I need to change up something. And, well, I explain this so I can make them, I can know about it. Because them girls will put it together. Girl, the girls in New Orleans, don't think about them old two New Orleans, bitch. They're going to put it together, bitch. They're putting it together. They're going to put the two plus two plus the five and the seven. And say, oh, that's who you're talking about. Oh, okay. So let me see if I can change this up just a little bit so I can throw them up. Because they, they, I want, I don't mind you saying it might be this person. I don't want you to say definitely it was this bitch. Because I don't think they care no more either. I don't know. So they were not, I don't consider them a DL trade because they wasn't trade. And I don't consider them like DL at all because everybody in New Orleans know, but nobody know if that makes any sense. And I don't know how, I don't define, I don't try to define somebody else's oh, sexuality. That's for you to do. You can't tell me how I self identify it. You know what I'm saying? So I like, you know, I can, I can consider myself gay. I can consider myself bisexual because I have relationships with women. So, you know, I can consider myself that too. But, I mean, I don't, I don't consider myself bisexual, but, you know, I could consider myself, I can't, I have rights to. But, however, I want to self-identify, that's how I want to self -identify. Um, with that being said, you hear me, uh, I'm going to talk real, real quick about, so, how, they don't, I don't think they identify with, they might, though, because we've talked about it before, and I think they do identify with an alternative sexuality, but it would have to be bi. They have five children. They have seven children. They have three children. They have three children. Whoever I'm talking about has three kids. Right? They just have three. Oh, girl, no, Girl. This bitch so fucking pink. Oh, my God. Let me go to the other one. That bitch too pink. Okay, yeah, two plus two equals five, right? So, um, let me see how this thing is, right? Uh, God, what's this L.A. Wilder just work for? If I knew for sure this fucking L.A. Wilder work, <laughs> girl, I would never be with me. So, um, So look, I know what to do. Um, keep calm. Be sad. So he have three kids, but guess what? His baby mama's know that he messed up. They don't care. Oh, they know they care. I don't know. I can't really explain, but they know he have an outside of messed up. That's what it is. Uh, he knows and accepts that he's different, right? Now. This person is versatile. But this is the problem with them. They are Leo. So that if anybody ever messed with a Leo before, bitch, you know what it's here for. I'm feeling great. Feel free, Nicole. How you doing? And so by him being a Leo, bitch, girl, already you know. If he do something, bitch, it's your fault. If he get caught cheating, it's your fault. Something you ain't do right. You, ain't, you know, it's always this. These bitches are so arrogant, and so this is the bad part about him. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where. He, we innocent girl. Fuck what? Girl, y'all that innocent girl. The fuck wrong with you? Leo's is the. I would. He was. He done fucked it up for all Leo's in my life. I would. I don't give a fuck. I'm not messing. It is more the male Leo. The female Leos are like that, but kind of like in reverse on some shit. Because it's like, instead of that projecting that outward, they project the inward. Right? They they like more confident and cocky and arrogant with themselves. But them male Leos, they more true to them. They more true. Oh, the Leos come out of here. So girl, oh, girl. I was never, and I was a swift bitch. I was a never swift enough to catch this motherfucker. This motherfucker, though, girl, he cheated on me with something. He cheated, okay. If anybody know the history of New Orleans, about me, right? My biggest beef in New Orleans bounce ever in my life was Sissy Nova. When me and her was beefing, girl, that was a long time. It was a long time me and her were very good friends. I love her to death. I love Nova. I think she's the greatest bounce artist ever. 
I really do believe that. And I've said that on many, many occasions. There's no set, no shame. But back in the gap, no time for me, no was easy. Um, just as the story goes. But this boy knew this and knew how I felt about Luther, man. And he fucking around with that. That shit hurt, my, hurt me to my core, man. I literally, I got this bitch a phone, girl. I'll never forget. I was working at the, I was working uh, across the street from the courthouse. So he had to go to court. And so what he did was he brought his phone over. Now, because I bought the phone, I know all the codes and stuff, right? And so, uh, girl, I no, 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 I'm lying. I don't know the code. But he never said nothing. But when you call, you can still answer if you don't have the code. Bitch, I swear to God. I, I answered that phone, and who did this on the other line but no, but God, I'm about to call. Girl, what? It's no be doing calling your phone. They fine motherfucking paid a bill for so anyway, he a Leo, and he verse, fully verse. This motherfucker, this, I, I tell you that, he not the best at nothing, but I'm gonna say this. The bitch hands great, the bitch mouth great, the bitch ass great, the bitch dick great, the bitch freak game great. He have great sex all across the board. I talked about that already. <laughs> I talk, I'm sorry, baby. If you missed it, girl, catch it on replay. I'm put it on two, girl. Okay? Just catch the replay. So he have great everything. And he know his stuff great. Oh, God. Like, one time, girl, he, like, oh, my God. I never forget. One time he made me mad, girl. Suck, girl. And I was like, get, we were laying in the bed together, girl. He just made me, I'm like, look, you just got to go. I can't do this, girl. This is fucking tearing me up the fuck up mentally, physically, everything. And this boy just took my hand and put it right in his ass. Like, and it was just so warm. Bitch, mouth great girl, hit eat booty girl, suck dick, suck dick, suck on your thigh right here, bitch. You ever had a bitch suck your thigh in the inside, bitch? Come on, girl, this boy didn't play no game. I wasn't ready. To. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This boy was a whole different level of food, bitch. He'll be licking all right there, bitch. What the fuck you doing down there, bitch? And just drink, just girl. <laughs> just girl. Girl. This bitch quick. And then the, the, the dick, everything is saying. And what used to fuck me up is that if I'm just, um, when I find out he cheat with this, when I find out he cheat with that, when I find out he doing this, when I find out he doing that, bitch, I would get mad because I'm like, I'm mad because you giving all this great sex to somebody else. Oh, yes, man. He didn't play no fucking game, but you call it girl, I'm dead with it, please. Girl. Oh, Jesus. I still have flashbacks about that bitch every once in a while to date and we speaking. This happened four years ago, baby. Oh, good Lord. I wasn't ready. I was somebody with a warm me, bitch. Bitch sucking all your titties, then bitch sucking up everything from your titties to your toes, bitch. Your neck to your kneecap, bitch, and didn't play no girl, didn't miss nothing. Girl be in the bed, get in the bed, get butt ass naked. Do, rub on you, oh, touch on you, and all this other dumb ass shit. Do all that. Then fuck you good that way. Then make sure you, bitch, you are bad. And then be damned if he nut before you. You go nut first. I wasn't ready. Bitch, I wasn't ready. Bitch, I wasn't ready. Girl. Sex was great. The life outside of that, don't, don't want you. You can't fuck nobody else. You can't mess with nobody else. You can't look nobody else because they're jealous as fuck. You are a property of them. And if they do something wrong, it's your fault. I wasn't ready for it. I told this boy I want to leave him alone. I had... That bitch... That bitch bust every window. You ain't leaving nothing, bitch. <laughs> He said, you would bust every window and everything I ever had in that motherfucker. I hate it. I hate it. 